Good afternoon. Welcome to lectures five and six. Great to see you all here. Let's get started. Which technology company has announced a name change? This was a couple of months ago. Exactly. Very good. Very good. You are the first one, yeah? Who said it? And you told the new name as well. Well done. Thank you. And yeah, this was Metaverse. And you can read more about the new name, what it means. And if you haven't watched the keynote, I also recommend you watch Mark Zuckerberg's keynote. Uh, it is a glimpse into the future. I don't like this guy at all. Actually, I hate this guy, but, um, but yeah, one of the biggest players in this digital space, unfortunately. So when we think about the metaverse, these are the components of the emerging new ecosystem that is emerging. Have a look how, and think about how your career will change. Let's say you will operate in this new realm with your avatar. What should you do? Think of some action points to learn more about this new space. How can you adapt? Create some small action points. How can you better understand the metaverse and how can you adapt to this new space in your career? What can you do? Okay, I have written two articles on this, very small articles. If you are into the metaverse, I recommend you read them. The first one is the metaverse coming to you soon. You can click on the link. And the second one is imagine you work and live in the metaverse. It includes some imagination exercises. Okay, so have a look to get started in this thinking today. We will talk mostly about entrepreneurship and making money. These are our exercises, but we will also talk about self-exploration as well. My main message today is explained in this article. Here is my main message today. Do not trust the system, never. Don't trust the system. Establish your own system. That's very important. I think that's the biggest, most important lesson I have learned in my life, I think. You should never trust, I think, the system. Oh, the system is working very well. No, it doesn't. Nothing is working well. Oh, the government will save us. No, the government will never save you. The, oh, the company that I'm working for, they will save us. No, they will never. They focus on their profits, for God's sake. Like everybody is focused on their self-interest, unfortunately, unfortunately. So you have to take care of yourself and your own future. That's the only way. And this requires money. This requires financial independence. So you shouldn't trust nobody but yourself. That's my motto. If you do and think like an entrepreneur, then you will be fine. If you add value, think and act like an entrepreneur, companies will work for you. You will create enormous value for these companies. You will think and act like an uh, entrepreneur, you will add enormous value, and you will feel so much better for your future. So the main messages are iterated here. Can we trust the global system? No, we cannot. Can we trust capitalism? No, we cannot trust capitalism. <laughs> Can we trust corporations? No. Corporations are mostly psychopaths. They have done research on this. They are psychopaths. Can we trust educational systems, universities? No, you cannot. 
I'm telling you, I'm in the heart of the higher education system. Unfortunately, our universities, although they want to do their best, they are very slow to adapt. That's the reality. They are very slow. So you have to think forward and think like an entrepreneur in order to cope with the changes. So why is it so critical to question everything? You will see a lot of slides on these. And how can you develop your own independence and power in a world that cannot be trusted? That's the reality. So how do you do that? And don't think that I'm too pessimistic. I'm normally a very optimist person, but I learn these harsh realities after decades of work. So why do I talk this like this? Because money, we, we trust in money, right? The value of money is decreasing due to inflation worldwide. All governments are printing money and money and money and money. This means the value of your money in your pocket decreases and decreases and decreases and decreases. And life conditions are getting harder and harder and harder every year. So you cannot just trust on your salary. You cannot just trust on your job security. And let me just reframe myself. I don't say that you shouldn't work in companies. No, you should work full time, but don't just rely on your salary. Okay? That's what I'm saying. At the same time, act as a hero, start your own entrepreneurial artistic journeys, but also learn about money, learn about investment and achieve your financial independence early on achieve your financial independence early on in your life. Start saving, investing, even with small amounts. This weekend, I invested just 50 pounds in Ethereum. Why? Because I believe Ethereum will be very critical in our future. The more I read about Ethereum, the more I, conv I am convinced that, you know, it is even more important than Bitcoin, I think, in the new world. So, like, Follow these new developments. Start thinking like an investor and as a business person and also as an entrepreneur. So we already discussed this. Jobs are in decline. Jobs are in decline. Therefore, you need to think about creating your own creative assets. You need to take ownership of your future. That means you need at least a couple of multiple passive income streams. Think of these as different taps. You will open different taps of water in your life. And these are like income streams, okay? You open the tap. At first, when you start a new initiative as an entrepreneur, the tap is just very small you know, droplets of money, okay? it starts with very small. When I started writing on Medium, I started with a few cents, a few cents. And then, when I improved myself and had more than a hundred articles, then I started making more money. This tap is getting stronger and stronger each month. So I'm growing this tap every month, yeah? That's tap number one. That's income stream number one. I'm also working on my YouTube channel. It'll soon start dropping money, very soon, okay? So this is the second tab, yeah? And I have a third tab, my investments, yeah? Uh, my investments, they will grow and I, I'm working on them. And I have a fourth tab, I'm working on my pension, etc. All these, and I'm now investing in eBooks, yeah? I already have published an eBook. I'm, I will soon publish, my promise to you, I will soon publish my second book very soon in the upcoming weeks. That is my own asset creation project, okay? I promise to you. I will deliver it this semester sometime. Watch me, okay? I'll update you. But I will start selling it on Gumroad. So you can start selling your digital products on Gumroad. Don't think too hard, just start somewhere. What matters is you need to have these multiple income streams, multiple tabs, Try to increase them. The more of these you have, the more trust you will have for the future. And remember, they all, starting small is very important. Don't make a big deal of this. Start very small for each of these. 
And let me tell you, in just a couple of years, you will achieve your own renaissance. You will create lots of experiments. You will learn how to think like an entrepreneur. You will learn how to think like a writer, content creator, YouTuber, whatever you want to do. And you will add more and more value for people out there. And that's what matters. The more value you deliver, the more competitive you will be in your career. Just this weekend, I published, I think at least three or four articles, just this weekend. So I never, you know, stop producing. I never stop writing. Yeah. I, because I love it. So find something that you really love. What do you love doing? Like, even if they don't pay you anything, let's say, even if you will pay in order to do that job, what would you do? Ask yourself. Even if... Even if they, uh, I would pay, let's say, I would love to teach. Like, I don't want any salary from teaching. I love teaching, <laughs> okay? So that's the correct job for me. So find something, your career, ideal career, something that you will be excited about, passionate about. The same with all these entrepreneurial income streams. Find things that will excite you, even if you don't make any money. And money will come, but money will always follows. When you add value, create value, money will follow. Don't worry about money. But you should worry about money to take control of your future. And this is a long-term game. Okay? So, let's try to learn about the tools. Uh, remember, we already talked about assets. If you want to get rich, you need to build assets. You need to create your own assets. If you have money, you need to buy these assets, Ethereum, Bitcoin, NFTs, Metaverse assets, or all these blockchain new systems, or uh, stock market investing, you know, all these stock market, stock shares, stocks and shares. So you need to invest in these real estate, all these things. If you have money, you should be investing in these things. Okay. If you don't have money, I don't have money. So the second option is even more exciting. If you don't have money, then you need a bit of imagination and hard work. So you can write, create new stuff like I do on Medium. You can create new YouTube videos. You can create your TikTok, Instagram brand. You can write a book. You can create digital products and sell them. All these things, what are you really passionate about? Figure it out. Start that, start multiple streams, multiple initiatives, and show them, show what you did in your class project, okay? You don't have to focus on just one thing. You can achieve multiple things as well. Try out which one works. Which one do you like best? Sometimes you don't know yourself. You just have to try out, see, experiment, and see which one do you like best. So try them and see where you, go, you can go. Remember, we talked about these already. All of these are due to imagination. These are assets purely created by imagination, true imagination. And these people, remember we talked about them as well, they became rich because they created so many assets. The secret to their wealth is creating a lot of assets, hundreds of them, hundreds of assets. So remember what we said, this is just a review of what we discussed. You need to conduct 10,000 experiments in 10 years. That means every year you need 1,000 experiments. And that means you need three experiments every day, minimum three, okay? For me, I do doodling, doodle artwork, number one. Number two, I create a YouTube video every day. And number three, I write on Medium every day. And number four, I'm passionate about my teaching. I create new teaching materials, and that's number four. So these are the four experiments that I really care about. Now I'm working on the fifth one, actually, which is eBooks, yeah? I'll tell you more about that in the upcoming weeks and how it goes. But these are the, my passion projects. You should think about the same. What will be your passion projects? 
entrepreneurial projects, artistic, creative projects. Start working on them right away. And do something small every day. I spent maximum half an hour on these every day, except teaching. Teaching takes more time, but the, all the others, maximum half an hour. YouTube, Medium, all the other doodle, notebook things, etc. I spend about half an hour. And with, with half an hour every day, you can achieve enormous things in the long term. You can achieve enormous things with small, consistent steps. That's what you should do. Do these experiments every day. So these brothers, they created seven lines of code and their empire, Stripe, is now 72 billion, double of that actually, 72 billion. So entrepreneurial spirit is rising all around the world. They asked Harvard graduates, Harvard graduates, what do you want to do after graduation? More than half of them, they said we will be entrepreneurs. They don't want to work for other companies. Everybody is quitting from their companies. Why? Because they want to create their own entrepreneurial uh, adventure. So you, you also need to think about this and how you would like to do that. How will you create your post-COVID futures? And you live only once, remember? You live only once. What will you do with your life? And remember, when you are creating something new, there will be always a valley of disappointment. You see the valley of disappointment? This is like the hero's journey. Whenever you set out, start creating something, at first you, you, see, you think this is the best idea ever. That's, a, that's an enormous opportunity. Wow, wonderful, I started. And then you realize that things are not so easy. Things are difficult and you face these obstacles, a lot of obstacles. And along the way, you lose your spirit. If you give up at the middle and then not continue, you will not achieve the rewards. So you need to really think of this as a long-term adventure. This is a marathon. You need to keep going, persist, hang in there. Okay. So my rule of thumb, is you need to create at least 500 pieces of content before you quit, 500. Because let's say you are on Instagram, come up with at least 500 posts, or you are on YouTube, you need to create at least 500 YouTube videos. Why? Because, or you are on Medium, writing on Medium, you need to create at least 500 Medium articles. Why? Why 500? Because you are just learning the games of the, rules of the game in just 500 experiments. You need, you need a lot of experiments. These are all small experiments, right? You need to do a lot of small experiments and you need to make some progress every day. Okay? So if you repeat this 500 times, then you will see that you are getting much better. You are now becoming the expert and you are now getting the results. So. Uh, I'm just at that period of my time in my YouTube channel, as well as on Medium, I approach 500, 500 different attempts. So now uh, everything gets better because I can improve my game. I'm more strategic, more mindful about how I need to improve. So these, whatever you do, remember, all these are marathons. You need at least a couple of years to make a difference. Especially if you want to become the best in the world in whatever you do, you need at least a couple of years, three years minimum, three years. If you're lucky, I would say five years, five years. If you start now and do these experiments every day, then in five years, you will achieve enormous advantages and you will achieve a lot of visibility and a lot of success after five years. Just like hang in there, don't quit. Don't quit when you face all these obstacles and despair. So 
Again, I want to remind you of these articles. Please read them if you haven't done so. Which documentary spans over 56 years? Do you know this documentary? They shoot it every seven years. Do you know this documentary? Up. Up is the documentary. It is the world's longest documentary. Longest years. and I vowed I'd never do it now, but here I am. Hopefully I'll reach my half century next year and, and I shall vow out. I suppose I have this ridiculous sense of loyalty to it, even though I hate it, and that's just such a contradiction, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want to answer those kind of questions. First seven years, gone extremely quickly. We've just grown together. I don't think you really notice it. I mean, you still think you're the same. It's when, maybe when you pull a muscle, <laughs> that just reminds you that you're getting older. I always liked older people as I was growing up, funny enough. My ambition as a scientist is to be more famous for doing science than for being in this film, but unfortunately, Michael, it's not gonna happen. Michael, up there's my old facts where I used to live in. I lived up there for 28 years. The memories I've got in here. It's unbelievable. It's how a person, any person, how they change. It's not an absolute accurate picture of me, but it's a picture of somebody. These are all on YouTube. So they interviewed these kids every seven years. Every seven years. They visited them when they were seven and then 14. 21, 28, 35, etc. They have done the 63. Unfortunately, the maker of this documentary has died recently. So I don't think they will make another episode. 63 is the last one. Yeah. And many people who are attending there also, some of them have died as well. So nothing like this will ever made be ever made again. So they are all most of them are on YouTube. You can watch this, by the way. It's an excellent documentary about life, what it means, but also progression and enormous change. When you watch the, these individuals, you realize how much they have changed in just seven years. You can't like recognize them. There is so much transformation in seven years that it is like mind boggling. The same will happen with your life. You are thinking that you will stay the same. After seven years, yeah. Your dreams will be the same. No, never. You will change so much that like, if you could talk with yourself after seven years, you wouldn't even understand some of what you are discussing. You know, there will be so much change. So I want you to do this exercise. Divide your life into seven-year segments. Do this at home, but you can start if you want right now. And then follow these seven steps. Give them a title. What were some milestones? Milestones. Draw your life if you can. What were some of the milestones, major career or life events that shaped you during these seven years? Who were your role models, teachers, family members, or other people who were influential in your life? What roles did you play? What projects were you involved in? And what were the institutions, schools, etc. you were involved in? 
And at what junction are you currently? Maybe you are in 22, 28 segment, yeah? You are just starting that maybe. So what will you do next? In the next segments, where will you be? Where do you want to be? How will you evolve? Think about that. Where will you be heading next? Brainstorm some possibilities. Especially I want you to think where you will be after seven years. After you, let's say, transform yourself, grow yourself. Let's say 2029, where will you be in 2029? Imagine that. And how will you change in these seven years? The seven years ahead of you, how will you change? Think about that. In order to compare, you need to compare your today's self with seven years earlier. How old were you seven years earlier? So compare yourself, how you changed in the last seven years. You will change at least as much in the next seven years. Think about that. Okay. So try to imagine how much you will change. Because in seven years, like if you could talk to yourself before seven years, your former self, you change so much, right? In seven years, you are not the same person at all. So seven years ahead of you, you will change even more radically. Why? Because there is more change all around the world. And you are just starting your careers. That means more change, more transition. So try to imagine what types of change you will be experiencing and how you will grow. And that's such an important exercise, you know, imagining. Because you need to develop your muscles of imagination. We need to get better in imagining possible futures for ourselves. You need to be hyper-specific in your dreams, in your imaginations. How can you be more rigorous in your dreams? Try to make it more specific, more vivid. Try to really imagine yourself there. And I do this very frequently. I, I imagine myself in 2030 where I will be. And I trust myself in 2030. I'm always in conversation with that self. That's so critical. You know, I'm always conversing on a daily basis with my future self. That's so important. Why? Because I'm asking him, 2030's Fahri, I ask him, what do you want me to do? What are the significant things that I need to be involved in right now so that you will be proud of me? Okay? That's such a mind expanding exercise, very mind expanding. It brings you so many possibilities yeah? and it unleashes your creativity. So please do this exercise at home, finish it. Which book narrates entrepreneurial adventures of founder of Nike? Shudok, yes. That's an excellent book. Have you read it? Not yet? Read it. It's an excellent book. Excellent book. Very well written. Shudok. Who wrote this? Anybody knows? Was the founder of Nike? Phil Knight. Phil Knight. And this is the book. If you are into business and entrepreneurship, everyone, make sure you read this book. You will learn so much more than you learn from typical textbooks. This is real life, messy business, like messy, risky business. This is how it works. 
I was getting like almost heart attacks reading this book. Why? Because there was so much chaos, sheer chaos. Like I became so scared as I read, you know. But that's how business entrepreneurship actually works. It is like such a different, different and difficult journey. Unfortunately, that's how it is. Like it's not easy to become like Nike. They have encountered so many obstacles, so many of them. I want you to choose top seven from this list. These are principles of adult behavior written in 1977. Barlow did an excellent job. Choose your top seven. Which ones do you think are really important to you? Or are you neglecting any of these? Take some notes, whichever you choose. Wrap it up. So, 98% of the population, unfortunately, are living in their comfort zones. Comfort zones. So they are just getting by. They are paralyzed by fear, surviving, nine till six job, boring, traffic, all this life depleting things. Unfortunately, that's the great majority, unfortunately. So they are settling for less, they are procrastinating, they are regretting it, they are playing it too safe. Just 2% or so, maybe a bit more, are able to jump to the other side. They're able to jump <laughs> like this one. So they jump, explore new things, and go on on entrepreneurial adventures, creative adventures. They take some risks. And they act on the basis of abundance. They go on these adventures, amazing adventures. And that's what you should do. And in order to jump to the other side, you need to scare yourself. You need to scare yourself a lot and make it a habit of yourself, like just create something new every day, scare yourself so that it becomes a habit. You don't become bored. You be have a lot of adventures every day. So here is your challenge for this. I want you to save or earn or make 111 pounds this week and every week. Your goal is to make an extra of 111 pounds, okay? That's your challenge. I want you to create as many ideas as you can to make this happen. This is an exercise just not about money. It is also about creativity. How do you do that? Please create your own ideas. How will you make it happen? You will start it today until next Tuesday, okay? So you have seven days to make this happen. Seven days, you will make money. Think of at least 20 different ways of making money. Can you work part-time? Can you go to sell Etsy, sell on Etsy? Can you sell on Amazon? Can you learn about drop shipping? Can you use Airbnb or Uber? Can you cook and sell something? What are you talented about? Can you solve problems? 
Can you teach somebody? Can you coach somebody? Give some online lessons. Can you sell, sell some digital products? Can you start investing? Can you sell some of your skill sets? So please write your, down your ideas. Which ones are promising? Try to have at least 20 ideas. And choose the ones that are most promising. I also tried to do this exercise and at first it was really difficult like you will like if you are depending on your parents money let's say then you will find this even more difficult because you need to make money from scratch and you are studying full-time yeah it is not easy you need to first scare yourself and put something out there Selling is not easy. Making a sale, making money from your sales is not easy. These are hard life skills. Yet, no business school are teaching these, unfortunately. How to sell. There is no course on that. Why? Because academics are terrible yeah. in sales. <laughs> we don't know how to sell. Let's be honest. Yeah. Like, we don't know how to sell. You can't learn to sell by doing a PhD. That's ridiculous. The whole system is ridiculous. The whole system is ridiculous. The whole system. So, like, don't wait too much from your professors. Okay? They can't teach you sales. If they knew how to do it, they would do it themselves. Okay? So, again, they can't save you. You have to save yourself. Yeah? Learn how to sell. Learn how to make money. How can you make money? Once I started doing this, I realized that making money is extremely hard. Like outside your salary, you know, salary, yeah, it's already there. But if you just depend on your salary, then you are vulnerable. What happens if you lose your job? Yeah, you have to think in new ways to become less vulnerable and more independent. You need to achieve your financial independence early on, okay? So in order to do that, you need to think like an entrepreneur. You need to start selling. You need to learn how to create new products, new services, sell them online, develop these skills. These are not too hard. You can learn these skills, but they just take some time you need to invest, build these systems. And sometimes it takes a couple of months to establish them. But you need to learn and invest. And at first, you will realize how difficult it is to make money. <laughs> like first, you need to realize it's not easy. Like first, you appreciate the difficulty of selling, making money. And then you will spend more cautiously. You will be more careful with what you buy. That small coffees you buy every day or uh, all these meals you eat outside, if you collect them together, you could have built your business and in 30 years, you know, even if you invest $1 every day, in 30 years, it is $80,000. $80,000 just $1 every day, just 30 years invested. Every day you invest $1, yeah? In 30 years, it is at least 80,000 at least. So this is the power of compounding. Spend less. That's why spending less, starting saving, starting making money. These are very important, important skills. Why? because you cannot trust the system. Okay? You have to find a way 
to reclaim your financial independence, but also reclaim your creativity. So have you created some ideas? Maybe you can discuss them, help each other. Like what have you come up with? Discuss in clusters, help one another. So, trying to wrap up, I want you to apply these ideas this week, from this Tuesday until next Tuesday, okay? Try to apply them. If, be honest to yourself, if it is like, if this looks like impossible, 111 pounds is too much, I can't do it, start with something small and achievable. Let's say 20 pounds. You can achieve 20 pounds, right? Everybody can achieve that, right? Uh, then you can start with 20 pounds, and then next week you can double it to 40 pounds, and then to 50 pounds. Incrementally, try to increase it every week. That means until summer, you will achieve this level very easily, yeah? Each month, each week, incrementally to learn and get better. And until summer, you can make 111 pounds each week, which makes uh, 444, yeah, each month, which is a good amount of money, a very good amount of money, yeah? It's a good start. Uh, these are like small taps all everywhere. All these small taps that you open, uh, they will make a lot of money in the long term, yeah? So think about how you can create these taps of abundance in your life, okay? That's very critical. Figure this out and apply it. So get out of the rat race. Make money work for you. Work to learn. And with your salary, buy assets first. 
your assets are the first thing that you buy. And then your income from the assets will make you rich. They will become more than your expenses and then invest that, that excess amount into assets again and avoid luxuries. Luxuries are your enemy. Avoid them. Just don't spend any ridiculous amounts of money on these luxuries. They are your enemy. Save, invest. Okay? Save and invest. Which is better? Three million in cash now or a single magic penny? That doubles every day for 21 days. Let me see hands. Who wants three million cash now? Come on. Who wants three million cash now? No? Can, can I see hands? I would want it. Come on. You don't want it? Where are your hands? Okay. You want three million cash, some of you, yeah? Yet, as you can see here, single penny is more valuable if it doubles. Okay? A single penny doubles every day. Okay? This is so important. This might be the biggest lesson you are learning in your life. Remember this lesson. So by day five, it becomes just $5. Ah, nothing. By day 20, it becomes $5,000. Yeah? But it keeps doubling. By day 29, it becomes 2.7 million. And by day 31, it becomes 10 million. 10 million. And it, if it keeps doubling, then you will be soon be competing with Jeff Bezos very soon. Okay? So that's how compounding works. Compounding. That's how it works. You need to really understand how compounding works. Einstein calls it the eighth wonder of the world, right? Why is it the eighth wonder? It's, this is why. It's the power of mathematics. And when you are doing something digital, something online, remember, you, you, are, you need to know how compounding works. Because that's how you make money online. At first, you make small amounts, and then you double them, double them, double them. It's like a plane taking off. Before the plane takes off, it's on the ground, right? It keeps going, nothing significant. But after it flies, then it goes everywhere, right? Then, then the miracles start to happen. So the miracle is that compounding, okay? So how do you apply it to your life, this principle? This is not only about money. Let's assume these are three friends, Larry, Scott, Brad. Larry does the same thing, what he has always done. Scott makes small positive changes daily, reading 10 pages, cutting some calories, replacing soda, Coca-Cola with water, walking an extra of 1,000 steps. These are all positive habits, okay? These are all positive habits. And these positive habits accumulate over time. And Brad, poor Brad, he makes a few poor choices, such as buying a big TV, eating more dessert, adding, adding these Coca-Colas into his diet, all these small things, sugary drinks, etc. Yeah? Small bad habits, smoking a cigarette, all these small habits. Okay? At month 10, there are no differences. They are the same. At month 25, there are measurable differences. And at month 31, these differences become really stark. So what happens? Scott loses weight, gets a promotion, raise, his marriage is thriving, he got richer. Larry, exactly in the same place, feeling bitter. And Brad puts on weight, feels sluggish, less confident, becomes less productive, withdrawn, and unhappy. So these small habits, they accumulate, they become your life. If you have some negative habits, 
they accumulate, your life becomes very negative. And I witnessed this with my friends as well. If you are not careful, in a couple of years, you will be in a much worse place and you will be bitter. And if you hang on, start creating, making these experiments, really try to focus on getting better every day, read, invest in yourself, write, produce, create new ideas every day, then after 31 months, you will be in a much better place, much, much better place. And if you continue your journey, in 62 months, you will be in a much better place because you start flying, yeah? So that's how life works. This we call this the compound effect. This affects all aspects of your life, health, relationship, income, success, happiness, everything. So in each of these areas, you can achieve miracles if you believe in the power of small, consistent steps every day, small steps, positive improvements every day. If you improve 1% every day, 1%. In one year, due to compounding, it becomes 37 times improvement. This is the power of mathematics. Multiply it. Due to power of compounding, 1% every day, the pie gets bigger and bigger, 1% every day. And after one year, because one year has 365 days, it compounds 365 times, right? That's why your pie becomes 37 times bigger. Okay? These are so surprising, right? I mean, I find these very surprising. When I learned about this, it was like mind-blowing mind-blowing stuff you don't realize this because our brains are linear we we think that tomorrow will be the same boring every day will be no life is very dynamic and if you use compounding you will fly you will achieve so much enormous things so your daily small choices determine the quality of your life. What's uncomfortable early becomes very comfortable later on. And what is comfortable right now becomes uncomfortable later on. Okay, it's the reverse. So you need to really make some hard choices and improve yourself today. And start creating your assets. Build these positive habits. Adam Davidson wrote a book, The Passion Economy. I recommend you read this. It talks about the new economy that we are living in. And these are the new platforms of the passion economy, remember? Which documentary narrates the rise of crowdfunding? Do you know this documentary? Capital C, capital C, this is the first documentary. It is crowdfunded as well. Uh, yeah. okay. More, mm. All right, here we go. One of the coolest things by far about the crowdfunding is that it really gave us the opportunity to launch something that we wouldn't have had before. Traditionally, you go to this business guy and be like, hey, business guy, we're gonna take off our clothes and run around and act crazy. Do you want to give us some money for this thing? And they'd be like, no, you guys are crazy. You get to throw it out there. And if you get accepted, then it's like, oh, we got a company. Oh, okay, what are we going to do now? In crowdfunding, money isn't just money. It's not about the object that you receive. It's about you actually making it happen. What crowdfunding is, it's the cap on a long relationship where you've spent years creating work that resonates with people and that they can't live without. So they go out on Facebook and they go on Twitter and they go blog about it and they go tell friends. And the end result is that amazing things happen. And then finally, after you've done this and after they love you and after you're a part of their life, then you go, hey guys, do you want to 
help me create my greatest work yet. We asked for roughly a million dollars and we got it in the first 48 hours. And the people that feel like they can buy elections are going to understand that they can. Taking this organism of the crowd and creating things that could otherwise never be done before, before felt. The people have a voice. And that's what democracy was all about. It's almost like we started this revolution by accident. This sort of thing was always bigger than just us. <laughs> capital C. Proud with a capital C. Nothing attracts a crowd like a crowd. It's going to be massive. We live in a new era. We live in a brand new world where all of a sudden the technology that is around us enables us to do the things that we believe in. Everybody got freaked. Now we're just trying to freak everybody. So you access the capital, you use marketing, you use real-time brainstorming, you have loyal patrons, and you have opportunity to pre-sell to them. This is the new model for creators, but also this is changing many professions. Many professions are changing because of this dynamic. So this is how it works. You have a good, amazing story. You have your social network and you have a reward system and you engage your community and they fund you. Which crowdfunding platform is the biggest one? GoFundMe, no. It's more creative projects. Six billion pledges, 20 million backers. Films, music, comics, journalism, video games, technology, publishing, food. Kickstarter. Kickstarter. So go there. You, you knew it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have this. Thank you. I, sorry, I haven't heard properly. So Kickstarter. Go there. Go to the website. Click on the projects. See how it works. Analyze the platform. And think about what you can create there you can start your Kickstarter page. Let's say you want to write a book, you want to create a fashion brand, you want to create something new, something exciting. Start your page there, start your page, give yourself a deadline, start raising money and see if people will support it. If people support it and you raise that fund, then you promise them whatever you create, you send them first samples. Let's say, I will write a book. I will send you first copies of my book before everybody else. You promise them uh, to your supporters. And your supporters will raise the fund and you will make this project a reality. And let me tell you, many of the innovative products today, they use Kickstarter. All the drones, new drones, innovative drones, they are all on Kickstarter, for example. Like many of these new technologies, new inventions, new innovations, they are all on Kickstarter. There are different types of crowdfunding. Have a look. But this guy is called the potato salad guy. He raised so much money using this video on Kickstarter. We face a paradox when we design to make the cutting edge familiar and the familiar cutting edge and vice versa. He's bullshitting, purely bullshitting. But if we can overcome these challenges, we can make a product without compromise. When we set out to make a potato salad, we couldn't say yes to every ingredient, and there are a thousand no's for every yes. Every ingredient had to have a reason to be there, and we had to ask ourselves, 
What's important here? Consistency, taste, texture. We set out to redefine what a side dish could be. And together, we're building a movement. Will it change the world? Probably. So, using this stupid film, he raised $44,000. And what do you do with that? According to rules of Kickstarter, you can't use it for anything else other than the potato salad. So, they gave this huge potato salad party for everyone. Oh, it's a bit so ridiculous. But it's all about engaging the mind of people, isn't it? Engaging the public, capturing interest. So, which crowdfunding platform is this? You can reward people through a monthly subscription. Podcasters, journalists, YouTubers use it a lot. Patreon, yeah. Who said it first, though? I have a couple. Maybe I should give multiple, yeah. Who were the, you said it, thank you. So, Patreon, but there are others as well. You can click on the others as well. Learn how these systems work. There are many of them. So don't think that you don't have any money. Oh, I want to do all these exciting things, but there is no money. There is money. You can go the, to these websites. It's all about attracting capital, attracting attention. Okay. So here is your learning adventure. I want you to think about your Kickstarter project. What do you would what would you bring to the world? Something new, something exciting. What would you create? Imagine that you started your Kickstarter page. What would you like to create? I want you to create your big idea now. Write it down. What do you wish to create? Something that builds on your strengths, passion, hobbies. Brainstorm, please, and come up with some ideas. Write them down in your notebook. Okay, try to wrap it up. You can continue this at home. I think you should work on this a little bit. And then go create it. Create your own page on Patreon or Kickstarter. Do it. And use it, use this as an opportunity for your asset creation project. This is especially better for your 7i project. If you choose 7i, try to do this and see what happens. So you can raise a lot of money, especially in the long term, using these platforms. If you want something like a monthly subscription, then Patreon is the best. It brings you regular recurring income. Which company 
turns famous inventions into art that you can buy. You know this company. Retropatents.com. If you go there, these are the famous patents, some of them. The visual patent applications. Okay? So you can hang them on your wall, which will be some art. And it is so fun to look at these because you see how these inventions were created in the first place. How were they like visualized? Artwork of the week. This is my painter friend, Elif Karadayi, a Turkish painter. Some of her work. And Elif Shafak, she was there last year, I think. Novelist, some of her novels. Which company offers a balloon ride to the space? Balloon ride to space. Space perspective. So if you pay $125,000, you can float into the stratosphere in this balloon. It will be a couple of hours. Amazing experience. Book your space flight if you have $125,000 to spare. Okay. And that's how it works. You can search it. OK, I want you to do this exercise now, star exercise. What are you good at? Please create a list of top things that you are good at. Make it a very specific list. Make a list of all the things that you are good at. I made my own list, you can see. For example, make it specific. I am very good in cooking green beans with olive oil, dill, garlic, and tomatoes. Very specific. Okay, so make your own list, make it very specific. Okay. What are you good at? Make a list. Try to come up with four to five things for now. You can continue at home. Just wrap it up, please. Wrap it up as much as you can. But this is a very powerful exercise. Do it. Include the things that you love as well. What do you love doing? Okay, let's continue. What are the things that you want to improve? Get better at. Make a list. You want to learn, improve these things, get better at these things. Would you like to learn to play an instrument? Learn a new language? What else? Coding? Entrepreneurial skills?
try to come up with a minimum of four to five things. You can continue this list at home. For now, think of four or five things minimum. Again, the more specific, the better. Wrap it up. Okay, the last one. What are the specific visions in your life, in your career, that you would love to see happening? Think about your visions, specific things, dreams, projects, wishes, goals desires make a list you would love to see these happening what are they think of at least four to five things Wrap it up, please. <clears throat> so remember, 2022 will be your year of asset creation. This will be a big year for you as well as for me, all of us. We will create the biggest assets, the best assets of our lives in this year. Come join me in this adventure, okay? Create your own adventures and assets. What do you wish to do for your life? Don't think like a student, please. You will achieve distinction, don't worry. Grades are not that important. You overestimate the value of these grades. I, I became so much focused on becoming the best student, best student, top grades. What happens later? Not, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Don't worry too much about the grades. Grades will be fine. Don't worry about that. Worry about what you want to achieve with your life, with your dreams, your asset creation journey. I created a video based on this. I won't show it, but watch it. It's on your slides, it's on YouTube. I shoot it this after grading my last semester master student projects. Okay. Last semester I taught this similar module and then I went over these 65 projects. I had 65 students and they made the same mistakes over and over and over again. So I thought I should create this video of warnings and suggestions. So these are very specific suggestions. Make sure you watch them, especially if you are working on the entrepreneurial option. If you want to create your entrepreneurial option, make sure you watch it because uh, I witnessed that students fall into the same traps, same mistakes again and again. So make sure you watch this.
the animation company received the highest number of Oscars? Pixar. Pixar. Who said it first? Yes. Oh, this is yours. Thank you. Thank you. So here's a tour of Pixar. <laughs> <laughs> I've been excited about this all season long. I am here at Pixar's campus just outside of San Francisco to get a rare look at the studio, which has dominated the animation category at the Oscars for the last couple of years. This year, of course, they got Toy Story 3. We're going to talk to some of the filmmakers about what it was like to work on the series that put digital animation on the map. Uh, like any other film, only we do ours virtually. But we use the exact same tools, just within the computer. So we do all the location scouting. Um, we have the actors come act. And someday, if we're lucky, Andy may have kids of his own. Live action, if you want to film a grocery store, you, know, you go out and find the right location and you film in a grocery store. In our world, we have to design that grocery store. and We have to design every last item in the grocery store and build it and create it so that it can be in the movie. <laughs> Those. Well, we can really control everything from like a little bit of a, a slash to the shoulders to every syllable. His upper chest, his torso, his body, his left arm, his right arm, and these are the small ones. Uh, there's eyebrows, there's mouths, actually this or some are really good at like sensitive moments or, or things that are a little quieter or more dramatic. No, it's my fault for leaving you guys. From now on, we stick together. But Anne is leaving for college. College? Oh, I the mailman! We have so many emotions when we were telling the story. It was so personal to us. 18 years ago, I mean, everybody kind of knew that if Toy Story worked out, it would launch this industry. There would be no Pixar without Buzz and Woody. You know, when I started the company, there was probably 50 people in the company. Um, Another 1,200 people. That is at least 1,200 people, yeah. This was the building that A Bug's Life built, and Steve Jobs personally oversaw the design. So Steve Jobs was very instrumental. The construction of it. It seems to me to be a perfect fusion of kind of the Hollywood minds. This movie is very difficult. And so. Okay. There's a secret entrance, secret door. She finds it. <laughs> Whoa. What? Now this is a speakeasy. Let's see who's been here. What's up, Michael? Okay, I'll stop here. You can watch this. Which book narrates their success story? Pixar's? Creativity? Good. That's a good one. So, thank you. So, uh, the CEO wrote this book, right? CEO wrote this book. The creator, John Lasseter, I think. Creativity Inc. Who is the author? Do you remember? He's the co-founder of Pixar. He, Ed Catmull, Ed Catmull. He won five Academy Awards. And this is the book. This is one of the best books I have read on creativity. It's amazing. Uh, make sure you read it, especially if you are into innovation and creativity. Which university is the force behind London Fashion Week? Which university? University of Arts, London. Six, it is composed of six institutions, actually, six different universities including Central St. Martins. And Central St. Martins is where the Fashion Week starts. It's, it's like a cathedral of the arts, a cathedral to the arts. The UK is still viewed as the most creative. London Art College is a club. Because of everything. So this is in King's Cross. 
very close to Google, Google headquarters. And fashion and the way people use clubs. Anyway, you can watch the seven Da Vinci principles. What can we learn from Leonardo da Vinci? These are the principles. Uh, it's an excellent book. Which book is this? Do you know? How to think like Leonardo da Vinci. Who is the author? Michael Gelb is the author. Okay. So, do this at home, but maybe you can start doing it just a for a few seconds. Create your own poster. This is the create a list of things, all the things that you love, different activities, hobbies, realms of your life. What are you passionate about? What do you love? And just put them on a poster, okay? And then put a lot of stars and make it a poster, hang it on your wall. What are you passionate about? What do you love doing? And how can you combine some of these with your career? Think about that as well. So for now, I want you to think of maybe three to five things, capture them. Your initial ideas. What are you passionate about? And the more specific it is, the better. Make it like hyper specific if you can. Okay, wrap this up. The next question, what were you really good at when you were a child? What did you love doing? Remember your childhood. Let's go back to your childhood. Let's say you are maybe six years old, five years old. What would you do with your time? What would you do? Remember, remember your initial house, your childhood house. Which house was that? Remember the room, the setting, the sounds, the smells. Go back to your childhood. What were you doing throughout the day? Try to remember. What kept you exciting? How did you play? How did you keep creating? And remember, when you were a child, you were at least 10 times more creative. 10 times. I know it from my own childhood. I was extremely creative when I was a kid. I did create new things every day. I had all these lovely doodles and notebooks. I had all these, my own logo, you see? I produced my own cartoon magazines. I created my own TV channels. I created my own uh, theater with my friends. I did so many creative things. Unfortunately, educational systems are horrible. <laughs> they are horrible. <laughs> yes, I need my chocolate. Yeah. We forget about all this childhood creativity. I realized when I'm 40, I realized this like so late, by the way. It was so late. That's why I'm telling you this right now. You are still early on in your journeys. I realized when I was 40 that I was so creative when I was a kid and I lost all that creativity. I lost all of it. All this life goals, achieve this and this and this. Oh, I will finish university with top grades. Then everything will be okay. No, everything will not be okay. Then I'll do my master's, finish it. Everything will be perfect. I did my master's with top grades. Nothing is perfect. Oh, I will start my PhD. Everything will be perfect. You start PhD. I will finish my PhD. Then everything will. I finished my PhD. I will search for a job, find a job, then everything will be perfect. I found a job, I started working, I will make four-star publications, then everything will be okay. I will, everything will be okay someday, that day never comes. 
never, never comes. You're just in the rat race. Unfortunately, that is true. You lose your life, you look back, and you see that you're just satisfying, you're not happy. You're not happy with what you created. You don't feel joy, creativity. You lost your talents. So that's why I told myself, I will return to my childhood. Nobody can prevent me. I will doodle every day. And then since then, I'm doodling every day. Nobody can prevent me. Yeah. I will create the things that I care about. Maybe I will become a YouTuber. Who is to judge me? I want to become a YouTuber. Come on, who will stop me? And I became a YouTuber. I became a YouTuber. And that's fun, exciting. Okay? The same with TikTok. I became a TikToker. That's, that's how, how I am. I'm playing again. I became a child again. Yeah? You should do the same. Reclaim your childhood creativity. Okay? Don't seek permission from anyone. Just do whatever feels exciting, okay? What will you do? I want you to think of at least one action. Schedule in your calendar. Maybe this weekend, do it. What will you do? What did you love doing when you were a kid, yet you forgot about it? What did you forget about? Write it down. Wrap it up. So originality, remember, is all about combining thousands of bad ideas. You have a bad idea, another one, another one, hundreds of them. Then you combine them, make mistakes, keep learning, iterate them relentlessly, get better, build these experiments, promising prototypes. You, your ideas get bigger, better. You combine them with one another. How do you do that? You have idea sex. Combine ideas together, they have their offsprings. So you grow these novel ideas, prototypes, and grow them into digital products, experiments. That's how originality works. Here's a learning adventure. How do you turn five pounds into 5,000 pounds? Can you come up with a couple of ideas? You have just five pounds. How can you turn it into 5,000 pounds? <clears throat> Think of as many ways as you can, like at least 10 different ways. <clears throat> if you think that this is impossible, you lost the war from the beginning. Don't let your brain judge it. You know, oh my God, this is like impossible. No, it's not impossible. Many people have done it. How is this possible? Start generating ideas. Your brain is an idea generation machine. Think of at least 10 ideas. As you wish, as you wish. If you don't have a time limit, in a couple of years, by investing, it will already be 5,000, right? Like, in a couple of years, given the enough time, yeah, you're right. Like, you invest, reinvest it, reinvest it, reinvest it. In just a couple of years, very easy, it will be 5,000. Very good, smart. What else? Can you do it in a shorter amount of time? Shorter. You don't have years. You have to do it, let's say, maybe in a couple of months. Or maybe, can you do it in a couple of weeks? Just a few weeks.
You can discuss ideas with one another. If you have any ideas to share, discuss together. Maybe you'll find better ideas together. Okay, here's an example. He made 200,000 through drawing cat cartoons. He is drawing cat cartoons. He made $200,000 through these cat cartoons. Who is he? Do you know this guy? He was on Shark Tank. He's a famous person. I want to draw a cat for you.com. Go there and you will see he drew more than 20,000 cat cartoons, 20,000 of them, and he sold them. He sells each of them for $10. So he made 200,000 by selling cat cartoons. He was on Shark Tank. I want to draw a cat for you. I'll draw you a cat that's short and fat. I'll draw you a cat with a pork pie hat. I'll draw you a cat, whatever the vibe. I draw the cat that you describe. <laughs> I want to draw a cat for you. 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 Wow, done. Wow. So, I love love the dancing. Thank you. Oh my God. I saw it. That's my signature move. Now, <laughs> by now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, how did this idiot make his way into the shark tank? Well, let me tell you, there is an economy for stupid, and I am overflowing with it. Now, with their universal appeal, my cat drawings are poised to be the next pet rock. I charge people $9.95 for my cat drawings. 9.32 of that is, is profit. I took the liberty of drawing some cats for each of you, ones I thought you might order if you came to my website. So, Robert, I know you're into fast cars. Thank you, Steve. Barbara, you just Thank closed you, the deal Steve. and you're looking fabulous. Vroom, vroom. Mr. Wonderful, you are taking your morning uh, bath in your tub of cash. Damon, here's a fancy man about the town. And Mark, congratulations on your championship. Thank you, sir. I have customers who bought enough of these drawings to start their own cat drawing gallery. Why are people buying them? People ask for their dead pets. They want to draw about their breakup. Or sometimes I have cats fighting an octopus and a T-Rex on the moon. So they try to test you for like bizarro stuff. Too. Yeah, part of it is, hey, they know this is going to go up on the website. They want to show off their crazy idea. So you post all these drawings Every single one. on the website. Yeah, and then they share them with their friends. And then their friends come and they purchase cat drawings to outdo one another. Um, and there are some people who take this very seriously. You draw these yourself? I draw these myself. I want. So his cost is just three pennies. Drawing this, just pe the, pe uh, the pen pencil and the paper, 3P. His cost is just 3P. And he sells for $10. Look at the profit margin. How does he do this? Through creativity. So you need just a bit of creativity to make money, okay? And he is the biggest evidence for that. So I did this as well. You know my cartoon book, right? Uh, doodle book. So as I returned to my childhood, I did these doodles for one year. And then after one year, I realized that I can turn this into a book. Let me publish it. I pub so I applied for UEA Entrepreneurial Fund, Entrepreneurship Fund for 5,000. And they gave me 5,000. I implemented, I established my company and published the book. And the book is now sold in 14 countries. Yeah. So 14 different countries. And that's your textbook. Yeah. You know the book. So, so what was my cost? Five pounds, a notebook and a pencil. These are five pounds. That's it. And you, I turned it into 5,000 for now.
yeah but i will make more money in the upcoming years so that's how you make money through the sheer power of creativity that's how you do it let's say you want to make a million a year you need to think mathematically how can i do this don't think that it is impossible how can i make it possible divide it you need 2739 every day right yeah it is too much what if you helped everybody added value to them they gave you one dollar each you would need to help 2700 people every day which is difficult but not impossible you can do it if you if everybody paid you ten dollars ten dollars then you would help just 270 people every day through your digital products okay so if you had some like they say digital products or services that you could sell to thousands of people then you would make millions of dollars in a couple of years that's very easy to do actually not difficult at all so you need to think from a point of abundance how can i solve this how can i make this abundant you can always create new ideas like this if you haven't read these seven books i recommend you read these books to expand your imagination about money please read these books okay they are some of the best they will change your mindset the first thing you need to change is your mindset open it up open your horizons then you can get rich first the mindset everything starts with the mindset shift do you want to become a multimillionaire do these 15 things immediately have you read this article remember i shared this with you no uh, click on the article read them make yourself a note if you don't make a note you will forget make yourself a note benjamin hardy read this article and promise yourself i will do these things starting today i will do them implement them they will help you to change your mindset and create your own assets okay we already discussed this in which country rice farmers are playing axe infinity philippines they make two thousand dollars islo making five thousand is just 19. how does he do that he sells these digital products look at his twitter follow him and this 12 year old he made five million dollars in three weeks through amphitheaters so there's a book called entrepreneur revolution i recommend you read this it's an excellent book he gives all these exercises if you do these things every day then he says you can shift your mindset to an entrepreneurial mindset so read the book especially implement these in your life these are amazing exercises and three books that are my favorite i review them click on the link to read also watch shark tank it is on netflix so it will help you to become an entrepreneur how do you become an entrepreneur it's very simple actually you look ahead think of a problem solve it tell people about your product or service demo it follow your curiosity make a prototype block the doctors use your gut feeling do the preparation and that's it you have a working product start selling right away if you choose entrepreneurial business option make sure that you don't come up with these advanced bullshit make it simple think of this as a one person company how will you do it as a person step by step focus on that okay so make it simple these are very simple business ideas 
but implemented beautifully. I'll finish with Before sharp Tipsy sweaters. Elves, Christmas sweaters were old. They smelled. This is Shark Tank, yeah. Before Tipsy Elves, Christmas sweaters were old. They smelled terrible, and you could only find them at your local thrift store. Tipsy Elves recreates those Christmas sweaters of the past with fun, witty, high quality Christmas sweaters that the whole family can enjoy. And they fit great too. But don't take it from us sharks, see for yourselves. To the Tipsy Elves Fashion Show. <laughs> oh. First we have Greg. Greg is wearing our runaway sleigh sweater where Santa's sleigh gets the best of him. He's also <laughs> wearing our popular Christmas bomber hat. Next up, we have Adri. She's wearing our elf sweater. She's also wearing our Believe fanny pack. Next, we have Brad. Brad is wearing our popular Hanukkah sweater. <laughs> Next up, we have Nikki. Nikki is wearing our Bucktooth Rudolph sweater dress. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. She's also wearing our reindeer animal hat. Last but certainly not least, we have Andrew. Andrew's wearing our reindeer matchmaker jumpsuit, which is brand new this season. Zip it up and watch them kiss. <laughs> All right, Sharks, so you've seen a little bit of what we have to offer. Our beautiful models here are going to be handing out a sweater to each one of you that we've picked. So, look at this guy. He's a millionaire already. Or who wants to help other kids fulfill their entrepreneurial aspirations. Hi, Sharks. My name is Jack Bonneau. I'm the founder and CEO of Jack's Stands and Marketplaces, and I'm from Denver, Colorado. Hi, Sharks. I'm Steve Bonneau. I'm Jack's dad. I work for Jack. Sharks, I'm seeking $50,000 in exchange for 10% of my company. I'm 10 years old, but when I was 8 years old, I really wanted a Lego set, but it cost $400. The good news was my dad said I could have it. But he had to pay for it with his own money. So, I did what most of you probably would do. I started my own lemonade stand. After 12 weeks, I made $900 after expenses. Wow. Learned some valuable lessons, and yes, I got my Lego Death Star. <laughs> experience is exactly why I created Jack's Stands and Marketplaces. Jack's Stands and Marketplaces provides kids and their families opportunities to learn about entrepreneurship, business, financial literacy, while having fun and making some money. We provide everything except their mood and their enthusiasm. Jack's Stands offers kids the opportunity to sell lemonade and other drinks. We offer kids the opportunity to sell more than just lemonade. Jack's Marketplaces provides young entrepreneurs the opportunity to sell their products in authentic and great marketplaces and have kids sell those great products and tell the inspirational stories of these young entrepreneurs. So Sharks, our challenge and question to you is, who wants to make money? While inspiring our nation's youth in entrepreneurship. And the last one, drip drop. Sharks, everyone loves eating ice cream. But there's a universal problem. When ice cream melts down the side of a cone, you get messy drips all over your hands and clothes, and you have to waste tons of napkins wiping it up. We knew there had to be a better way. That's why we created the drip drop. The drip drop is an edible, useful, and environmentally friendly add-on to the traditional ice cream cone. It's such a simple solution. Only kids could have invented this. It's an edible ring that has the same ingredients as the cone. You see this? There's a hole in the middle, and you slide it up the ice cream cone like this. It fits perfectly and catches all the drips through melting ice cream. It's that easy. You lick it, eat it, boom! <laughs> and take your pick from many delicious flavors such as sugar cone. A classic. Or chocolate covered. Mmm, tasty. Sharks, we need <laughs> your money and advice to get the drip drop in every ice cream store and every mouth in the world. Now don't worry, Mr. Wonderful. No one's gonna steal our cool new product. Because it's securely patented. Yeah! That's right. We may not have driver's licenses, but we have a patent. Yeah. <laughs> this baby's a chick magnet. <laughs> so, as you can see, entrepreneurship has nothing to do with age. You can start thinking like an entrepreneur and start selling. I'll finish with potato parcel just in a minute. They write messages on potatoes and mail them. They, became, they made hundreds of thousands of dollars using this. They, by, by mailing potatoes. Hi Sharks, my name is Alex Craig. And I'm Riyad Beckett. Our company is seeking $50,000 in exchange for 10% equity in our business. Look, Sharks, over the years, you've heard all types of elaborate intricate and over-the-top pitches. 
Well, we're here to keep it simple, so let's take this pitch back to our roots. Sharks, our company is Potato Parcel, and we mail potatoes, and that's it. Any questions? Maybe too simple. Explain it again. So, Potato Parcel is a brand new way of sending anyone you know a custom message written on a potato. So, uh, look at them. They became millionaires using this idea. Millionaires. So, you can start uh, becoming an entrepreneur. Thank you so much. If you haven't registered, please do register. Here is the QR code. Thank you. I will see you in the seminars this week. Thanks a lot. You were great today. Thank you.